Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we're going to be doing another episode of checking out one of your guys' solar systems. So today we're on um, episode 125 of this series now. So yeah, pretty crazy stuff. We're a quarter of the way to um, 200 now. So that'd be crazy when we get there. But yeah, episode 125. We've got one system to do today from the user Yellow and Black from Discord. So a massive thank you um, to them for sending this in. And yeah, we've got it on the workshop actually because apparently this system is too large to send on Discord. So without further ado, um, let's just get straight into it. But yeah, while I'm opening it guys, just um, a heads up as well. If you want to send in your own simulations, make sure to either join my Discord server link in the description where you can upload the links there or just drag your file in or just let me know the name of it in the um, comments down below but please note I, I may lose comments that get posted they may go in the spam box I may never see them um, or I could just completely forget about them so yeah please keep that in mind but the discord is a much more reliable way because you can just send it and it will just get added to the queue and then I'll never miss it so yeah please keep that in mind um, when you upload your systems but yeah now we um it's all loaded up here we go so we have got yeah the system here the Mora star system from the user yellow and black so let's see what they have prepared for us today right here we go so it's also created by the or i guess in the, that's their steam name the uh, pencil heads right so it's a very young star system it's only 700 million years old and it is crowded with objects that might get ejected from the system and yeah this is the mora star system right so here is the star itself it's quite a fresh new system as um he said there so here's the star so it looks to be in sort of in the orange dwarf territory um with its stats stat wise it seems to be a sort of around that area there so yeah there we go it's a little smaller than the sun and masses and all that. But yeah, here we go. So here's the whole system as well. So yeah, pretty, pretty quite a new, fresh system. Quite a lot of objects um, going along um, around here. But yeah, here we go. So planet number one. Right, here we go. So first planet of the day, here we are. So it appears to be almost like a Mars sort of looking object with its atmosphere color, its sort of surface. Quite similar to sort of Mars um, when I look at it here. But it's a lot hotter. So it'd be like more of a hot version of Mars. It's very similar in size as well. Look at that. So it is... Kind of like a hot Mars almost, but yeah, there we go. So that is planet one. Now hop into planet two. Another um, sort of um, warm world, as we can see here. A little larger than the previous one. It seems to be mostly just a completely grayed out surface. Got almost like a more pale version of Venus's atmosphere, as we can see color-wise. It's also got some moons. So we'll go in orbit mode. So we've got moon A1 and moon A2 there. So there we go. So that is all of planet two. Now we have got planet three over here. This one looks to have some oceans. It's at 30 degrees as well. It has a very large moon there too. But yeah, this one's quite similar to Earth in stats. It's also, um, again, got more of like a Venus sort of looking sort of atmosphere color there. But yeah, here we go. So um, composition. Got some quite decent stats here, as we can see. So 93 Earth similarity. And then life likelihood is at 32.7. So yeah, not bad stats on it there. So yeah, there we go. And also a view of the star as well. There is our star. So there we go. And then the moon as well. So quite a large moon. Yeah, very large in comparison to its planet. So the planet is about 7,400 in radius here. And this one is uh, 1,900. I mean, compared to a planet and moon, that's quite a large sort of um, comparison there. Especially with how close the moon is. So I'm guessing you probably get quite a lot of tidal forces um, going on the, on the planet there. But yeah, there we go. So that is planet number three. So now hop into planet number four. It looks like we've got another ocean world. As we can see here, again, with some sort of similar sort of um, appearance, but it's got a lot of islands. It kind of reminds me of um, volcanoes and mountains in Space Engine. We've seen that in some of those episodes um, where there's just volcanoes and stuff sticking out the oceans like that. And they're the only sort of pieces of land. So you can see they're around the whole planet up here. If we look all around it, you can see they're just spluttered around the whole area. That's quite a cool look. I'm not sure if that's just a glitch or if it's intentional, but either way, I think that's quite a cool. Just loads of volcanic um, islands or maybe they're not volcanic. But there's still loads of mountains. You can see like the white patches in the middle. So that implies that they've got some higher altitudes going on there. So that's pretty cool. And then we've also got Moon C1 as well here. So another grayed out um, object too. So there we go. So yeah, pretty cool um, system so far. I'm liking this. So there we go. So there is that. I think I missed one actually. Wait, is that? So that was C1. Okay, there's a second moon here as well. And it's got a very similar appearance as well. So there it goes. Moon C2. Right, so there we go. Right now, if we head to... Okay, so that was um that one. So now we're heading to Object 5 out here. So another ocean world also following the same sort of atmosphere um, color. This one's got a lot more land compared to the previous two as well. So I'm guessing its stats could be quite good. So 92 and 71. So definitely definitely probably the highest stats so far. Actually, we didn't check planet number 4. So let's get a little look at that quickly. So planet 4. So that had 95 and 65. But this one has got... 92 and 71 so yeah this one's um i'd probably argue this one's better because it's got the life likelihood slightly higher but yeah there we go there again following like i said they're following the same sort of atmosphere color scheme and all that as well so that is planet five no moons around this one 
So there we go. Now planet number six. This one is a completely different change compared to what we have um, seen. This one's got a bluish frozen atmosphere. Obviously, it's all frozen underneath um, with ice and stuff as well. So yeah, a lot colder, a completely different appearance. And then it has one moon down here as well, following the more traditional appearance we have seen so far. So there we go. There are those two. So that is um, object number six. So now heading on to object number seven. It looks like there's an asteroid belt here as well. You can just faintly see there is a set of asteroids around there. If you look very carefully, I'm pretty sure if we go on flashlight. But there you go. So you can see the asteroid belt. So we are now traveling to the next object. So um, there we go. So, okay. So we've got dwarf planet. It looks like we've got a dwarf planet to visit. So yeah, next. So yeah, dwarf planet one. Here we go. So a completely frozen ice well by the looks of it. Let's go back on uh, realistic. So there we go. So a completely frozen up well with minus 120 degrees. And it's also got some small moons as well. But yeah, these dwarf planets are in the asteroid belt of this system, which is pretty cool. So there we go. So that is um, Dwarf 1. Then we have got Dwarf 2 over here. This one's going with a pinkish um, shade, um, as we can see here. That's all by itself as well. Quite large in their radius. It's a bigger than Pluto by the looks of it. I mean, we can get a quick comparison um, with Pluto as well. But yeah, I believe Pluto is about 1,300, and this is 1,400. So let's just see if we wait for the menu to open. See, Come on, menu. Why you, why you do this to us? Come on, it's taking a quite a while there. But yeah, here is Pluto for comparison. So you can see it's a little smaller than Pluto. A little bigger than Pluto, sorry. Yeah, oh no, Pluto is 1186. Yeah, that's definitely a lot bigger um, than Pluto is there. So there's Dwarf Planet 2. Right, and I think there was a number 3 and 4 around as well. So there's uh, there's number 4. Where's number 3? So let's just turn that off. Number 3, where are we? So Dwarf Planet 2. There's Dwarf Planet 4. Is there a third one? Dwarf Planet, it doesn't look like it. Oh, I can't see it. I know it's further out. Okay, so it goes 4, then 3. Okay, so here's number 4. So this one is going with a more brownish, dark orange shade in colour there. So there is that one. And I guess we'll just do it, finish off the Dwarf Planet. So we'll go to the third one next. So Dwarf Planet 3 is all the way over here. So here we go. This one's got an atmosphere with a more reddish, pinkish colour underneath it. But yeah, there we go. So that's looking pretty cool. Right, now we can get back to the main planets. So yeah, we've got planet number 7 now. This is the first of the gas giants as well. Oh, look at this one. Really nice a mix of colours there with the, uh, the white and the grey. That's quite a cool looking gas giant actually. I'm liking it. No, it's not too over the top with bands. It's got a nice mix of colour blending in there. I think that looks quite good. Very nice job there. So that is um, Planet 7. Then it has got some moons. So we'll click, um, hover through all of those. So you can see them in the top right of the screen there. So we've got three, four. That was a very reflective one. Look at that. We'll get a closer look at that one. So here it is. So yeah, very reflective. Very, very bright one as well. I like, I like objects that do that. So there's that one. Then we've got uh, number four over here, another sort of Mars looking sort of light world with the atmosphere or the Venus, it's sort of following the trend we saw earlier in the system. Then we've got moon five and moon six out here. That one's got a lot of ice on it, as we can see. So there we go. So there is all the planet seven stuff. Right now, heading to planet eight, we're taking a massive jump. So planet eight all the way over here. Looks to be another gas giant. This one has got a lot more bands, as we can see here. So there we go. Just go on flashlight mode so we can see it. So it's got another more pale sort of shade of blue right there. So there is Planet 8. Quite a nice um, looking mix of colours on that one as well. But there's obviously a lot more bands on it. And then we've got the more more moons that are glowing as well. So there's Moon 1. Moon number 2. So going for more reddish colour again. And we've got Moon 3. So a more default looking greyish one. Moon 4 over here. And then Moon 5. So let's quickly go on Moon 5. So there's not Moon 5. This one looks pretty crazy. Look, maybe it, maybe it has a bit of a snow glitch going on right now. But yeah, there we go. So there is Moon 5. Right, so heading out. I think I saw one called Dangerous Asteroid. What's this one? So here we go. So Dangerous Asteroid. So you can see it's got quite a crazy orbit. It does go sort of in and out of the asteroid belt, as we can see. So here is Dangerous Asteroid. So or oh, it's number 1. So there may be more around. So here it is. It's got obviously a lot of ice on it as well. Next one's got more of an orange sort of colour um, on it underneath all that ice. So there we go. So let's head all the way out of there, right where we're heading next. So Planet 9 now. So this one is a, um, a pale sort of uh, maroon pink, as we can see here. So there we go. So it's almost like a pastel shade of pink. So here are its moons. So we've got one, two, then three. It's tilted on its side as well. Didn't mention that, but yeah, it's tilted on its side, as we can see. So if we go on a realistic again, you can sort of see there's the sunlight hitting it on that side. And then the moons are all orbiting in the Uranus sort of look alike. So there we go. And there, there are the moons. That one's got a bit of a thicker atmosphere. It's like a Titan atmosphere there. So there we go. So that is number that. Number nine. Okay, so Dangerous Asteroid 1. So then we've got Planet 11. Oh, that's Dwarf Planet 11. Okay. So I don't think we saw Dwarf Planet 
four, five, oh, five, six, seven, all the way to eleven. So I'm guessing this this could be an error. And the dwarf planet five. Oh no, no, maybe no. I'm just being silly. This dwarf planet just has a crazy orbit. I'm guessing that's why it's um, eleven actually. But yeah, there we go. So we've got dwarf planet eleven there. So we'll quickly um, travel here as well. Has it got any moons? No, it's alone. So there we go. It's quite large in size as well. Still bigger than Pluto. So pretty, pretty decent size objects here. We've got dwarf planet five. That's quite. That's definitely the best dwarf planet I've seen so far. I like the way that one looks. Let's um, quickly go to it. And there's also a planet 10 I saw, so we need to check that out as well. But here's Dwarf Planet 5. Yeah, I'm liking the way that looks. The shade of pink mixed with the um, white there. That's looking good. So, yeah, there's Dwarf Planet 5. Okay, so where are we heading next? So we've done all the ones in there. Okay, so we're heading to Planet 10 now. So here's Planet 10. So it's also going with a thick atmosphere color, as we can see. It's getting very dark now. So we'll go on Studio Mode. So there it is there. So, again, it's quite similar to the sort of um, shade of color Titan has, but it looks to have a little more yellow in it than what Titan would normally have. So there is Planet 10. Then we've got a bunch of dwarf planets all the way out here. So we've got uh, dwarf planet 6, dwarf planet 7. So there we go. Dwarf planet 8. Then we've got 9 over here. We have Then we've got 10. So that one's got a bit of an atmosphere on it as well. Okay, then we had 11, which is the one we visited first out of the outer solar system stuff. And it's also got like its own version of the Kuiper belt as well. You can see there's another asteroid belt further out than the, the one at the center of the system there. But yeah, if we had even further out now, there was one more object all the way over here. So Munus Tun over here. So this is the furthest object out by very, very far, as we can see. And there it is. So yeah, very, very far away. If we go on realistic, I'm guessing complete darkness. Yep. And then it's an um, orbital period. Yeah, it's sort of around the sort of Sedna area i guess in the fa almost at the ten thousand year mark obviously a very similar orbit to sedna so i'm guessing it's probably inspired by that but that's a way more ex crazy orbit than sedna has i mean look how look how far it goes in and out i mean that is pretty crazy i mean if we look at its orbit you can see it cuts in all the way in between planet eight and nine by the looks but you can see its orbit cuts in there so it sort of goes past the dangerous asteroid here and then it goes all the way back out again so that's a very insane orbit there and that probably would get ejected like he did say at the start um, of the system as well but yeah there we go so that does it for the Mora system so yeah very very cool like in um the sort of early sort of solar system look with it not being a very old system so that's pretty cool but yeah onto the planets themselves now so we'll go on a uh, studio mode best gas giant for me I, I like this one the best i think it's not too crazy with the bands because this one obviously does have quite a lot on it as well still looks good though don't get me wrong but I, I i do like this one more personally but yeah this one this one is a close second i do like the mixes of blue it's got on there so they're my um top gas giants and then to the rocky planets I did like the one with like the uh, like I said, it may not be intentional, but I think it looks really cool with like the uh, the little islands or little mountains popping out the ocean. I think that's pretty cool. So that would definitely be one of my top Rockies. But I also liked um, one of the dwarf planets. Which one was it? I'd, I also like the reflective ones as well. They're cool. But yeah, it was one of the dwarf planets I liked. Yeah, it was this one, the the pinkish, the yeah, the white and pink one. I do like the way that looks as well with the mix of the pink and white i think that's quite a cool combo there but yeah there we go and obviously that's a list of the rest of the objects there so yeah again a massive thank you to the creator of this system so yellow and black or pencil head as i think he was called on steam so yeah massive thank you to him for sending this system in and also if you want to send in your own systems make sure to follow the instructions i said at the start of the video so yeah that'd either be joining my discord or just leaving a or let me know in the comments what the name of it is on the workshop but yeah please note again it may not be the most reliable way of getting a system in one of these videos but yeah that all out of the way guys a massive thank you for watching today's video maybe we can try and go for 50 likes on today's video as well because yeah we have been hitting like goals and getting a lot of likes on these videos and it means the world guys really really massive thank you to all of you for the support and yeah subscribe if you're new helps on the journey to 14,000 subscribers as well and again a massive thank you to everyone who has recently subscribed it really really means the world that you guys are just coming spending a few moments of your day to um watch my videos so yeah really really appreciate it guys and yeah with that all out of the way make sure you guys all have a great day Stay safe out there and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.